Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Actively Planning. Here we're going to do another weekly spread in my passion planner. Just a little FYI, I do have the small size with the Monday start. And as you can see, actually, let me just click this really quick. Um, as you can see, I got lots of posts telling me all the things that are happening, my shifts, what meetings I have, different things, events, basically all the things so that I can remember exactly what to put in my planner. Because if not, I'm just going to decorate it and not actually have all my plans. So I'm actually going to be using some of these stickers. They are from Happy Planner stickers that I've had for a little bit. I'm going to incorporate these two washi tapes. So keeping it with the green themed and of course I have my icon stickers getting low on a few of them but they're still up and running helping me plan everything out and lastly I have my make ID label printer that I pre-printed some of the labels that I use every single week for my spreads so first thing I'm actually going to be doing is of course whiting out some of these black bars just because I like to be able to see my washi tape be you know crisp and colorful instead of kind of see-through that a lot of them are so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and of course because I know my schedule I do not have a 12 hour shift on Sunday, so I'm also gonna wipe this out because actually Sunday is a very special day. I'll talk about it in a little second, so definitely going to decorate that section. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, add some washi tape before going on with some fun stuff. Now that I have all of that, just at least the basics done here, I'm actually going to go ahead and plan out my week. So the biggest thing that I do obviously is time blocking. That is one of the main reasons I have this planner, which is of course the passion planner, is because it does have the times already written down on them. So it's easy for me to go ahead and actually time block using this layout that's already on there instead of me trying to figure things out. Um, because honestly, time blocking has been my go-to for the past, I don't even know how many years now. It's just the greatest way that I've found and more efficient way for me to be able to do all the things that I want to be able to do in obviously timely manner when they're actually supposed to be due and not waste my time because that is the biggest thing I see especially um, if you don't know I am a health and life coach focusing on confidence and introversion and one of the biggest things that I see is that we say you know we might not have time but in reality it's how we are spending our time that we need to create more of an awareness around because honestly if you actually prioritize what's important for you and a lot time for them let's say an hour two hours or whatever 
time you have in your day or in your week, you actually can move that needle forward towards your goals. But it's when we sit down and actually do something like this where we time block our day and actually focus on how much time we're allotting to each things each thing, we can actually see how we're spending our time in accordance to what we actually want to achieve. Because yes, we can say that we're, you know, we spent so much time doing this one project, but then in reality, in that actual time, were you getting distracted by other things? Were you um, looking at your phone constantly, getting emails and getting distracted that way? So actually taking a look at how you're spending your time in those allotted things will actually help create that awareness of how you are actually spending your time. Even if you are saying, yeah, I did it whatever XYZ for two hours but maybe in reality you only actually did one hour because another hour of that was actually you being a little bit distracted so using something like this where you time block and actually a lot times for different things you can a lot that extra time that you might have for those let's say numbing things that we love to do aka watch an episode of Netflix or scroll social media for 30 minutes or whatever it is we can always add that into our plans honestly I do it all the time that's why there are spaces in my time blocking you will see them in a second it's because of that we do need those distractors to be able to go from one task to another because if we do constant task one after the other, you're gonna get burnt out way faster. So having a lot of times to even just scroll or watch an episode or whatever it is, you gotta do it. It's important. It's part of being, you know, a functioning adult. <laughs> so that is my little spiel on how time blocking is just so efficient, so helpful, and it creates such a great awareness of how you're spending your time that it's amazing but I also want to mention in all of this yes you might get distracted yes it might take you a little bit longer or less time of what you had allotted in your planner don't think of it as something that needs to be done with perfection this is just something to create an awareness and make sure that you are being disciplined in what you gave yourself in terms of time but in reality if you do not complete something in that allotted time that is okay that is a learning curve that let's say next time you give yourself another 30 minutes or another hour or whatever it feels like you would actually need for that task. This is always going to be a learning curve, trust me. When I first started, I thought, oh yeah, let me just send or say that I need 30 minutes for each task. No, <laughs> some of them take 20 minutes and some of them take two hours. So you learning how you work depending on the task is also going to be extremely helpful, especially when you're thinking in terms of, I need to do this perfectly. No, no human is perfect, let's put it that way. We all are learning every single day, every single day, is an opportunity for growth to get out of our comfort zones to be able to be our best selves and one of the biggest things about that is learning that perfection is not a valid you know end point in anything we are constantly learning constantly evolving constantly growing so we want to make sure that we are in alignment with all of that so I'm gonna go ahead finish up my time blocking here before having some more fun doing all these plans
of this done, I'm going to go ahead into this bottom right section where I write down my quote of the week. It's just something that I want to focus on, something that I want to be inspired by depending on what I want to achieve for the week. And this week's quote is, a goal is a personal promise to your future self. How real is that quote? Also, I find all of my quotes on Pinterest. Let's be real. I can't come up with all this stuff. Also, definitely did not uh, understand spacing this time around. Good thing I do pencil. So anyways, let me just go ahead and write down my quote of the week. So one thing that I've definitely learned with personal development and growth in my own journey is having somewhere where you can track your progress is a huge game changer in terms of you showing up consistently because you're able to see it in a visual manner rather than you just thinking, okay, I put in the work, why am I not seeing results or something like that. So one of the biggest things that I like to do in Passion Planner, because it already has these lines, makes it a little bit easier, is being able to track some of the things that I like to do with my clients. I like to track how are they doing, how are they performing, how am I doing as a partner, accountability partner for them. Um, and it's just a great way for me to be able to see my progress throughout the weeks happening. So this is just a great way for tracking, being able to be aware of everything that I'm doing and it's all in one spot where it's easy accessible. So let me just go ahead and finish this up. have some fun with some stickers but first I gotta do my three favorite things every single week I have three boxes that or actually it's four but <laughs> these little boxes that I like to add for example this first one is going to be my gratitude so at least one thing a day that I'm grateful for I like to write them down and then this one that I'm adding over here is actually going to be my goals for the week I like to be aware of what I'm working towards and being able to see it constantly definitely helps me be aware of, you know, the time, the effort, the, you know, all the things that I'm basically doing to be able to achieve them. So having it visually in a space where I'm constantly looking at it is such a great way for me to be reminded of all the things that I'm doing for them. So adding this and then of course I'm adding my to-dos but I like to actually add them um, separated. So one little box that I'm going to add right here is going to be focused between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. These are the to-dos that I like to do on those days. And then I have another box that I'm gonna be adding for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the reason I actually like to do this is to eliminate overwhelm because usually if I see a very large list of to-dos, I freak out, end up doing the easy things first and then taking the hard things and rolling them over week after week after week. So if I'm able to separate, you know, have some easy tasks 
on both and some easy task on both or some hard task on both, I'm actually able to accomplish everything and not push them into the following weeks. And then it's just a never ending cycle of actually never doing my things. So, um, that is why I actually do my to do's in two boxes so that I don't create that overwhelm. So one thing that I'm excited about, and I'm actually going to just share it here because I am going to fill this in after I finish um, filming is that here on this on Sunday, the 18th is actually my one year anniversary since getting married last year. I literally cannot, I can't believe it's been a year. Let's put it that way. I, I mean, time is literally flying and seeing it in that perspective, like it's been literally a year since we got married. I, I'm like blown away, but I'm so excited. I am going to decorate it a little bit more once I finish filming because I want that to be a special little section for me and my husband. So I'm definitely going to keep that there. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead, finish up adding some stickers and having some fun. So here is the finished layout. Super happy how it turned out. I love the freaking colors. I'm gonna keep going with this whole one color scheme a week just because it's fun. It's a different way of looking at it, especially when I roll through my whole planner. And of course, I'll be fin filling in all the extra things like the to-dos, goals, gratitude, and my fun little Sunday section. So anyways, hopefully this was inspiring and hopefully it was helpful and hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you here for another video very soon. Okay, bye!